Coral wine can be a serious issue that most people with high-end PCs have experienced at some point. And even though it is sometimes inaudible, and usually outside the range of human hearing, almost every computer will have it to some degree. It isn't necessarily a sign of a problem, but it can be highly irritating. If you don't know what coil wine is, there is an older video on my channel where I put a microphone a few millimeters away from the coil on a graphics card and recorded coil wine close up. So click here to check out that video. The first thing to do is to determine when the noise is occurring and where the noise is coming from. Do you get coil whine when gaming or when your PC is idling? Do you get coil whine when looking at certain parts of a map in game? To determine where the sound is coming from, you'll want to open up the side of your case whilst the computer is still on. Then do whatever gets your PC to start making coil whine. Then get a piece of paper, roll it up and put it to your ear. Then pan around the inside of your case making sure not to knock any of the components. The most common sources of coil wine are the graphics card, the power supply and the motherboard around the CPU socket area. So be sure to check these areas first. If the whining is coming from your power supply, there isn't usually much you can do about it, except for replacing the power supply. Except for maybe gluing the coils, but I won't go into that in this video. I'll show you how to resolve coil wine from both the motherboard and graphics card. And if, if this doesn't solve your issue, the only solution may be replacing your hardware. In my case, my computer was making an unbearable whining noise whenever I was on the desktop, but when I opened a game, the noise completely stopped. After listening around the case, it seemed that the whining noise was coming from somewhere around the motherboard, around the uh, CPU socket area. If the whining is coming from your motherboard, it is likely that the cause is Intel speed step. Basically, Intel speed step is the thing that drops down the a clock speed and voltage of your processor when it's not under heavy use and this can often be a source of coil wine. So what I'm doing now is opening up CPU Z to check the clock speed and the voltages of my CPU and I'll open up Prime95 to stress test the CPU and see if the noise changes. So you can see that my core clock speed is jumping around all the time. It was actually floating around 1 GHz before I started the recording but it's gone up now a bit. So I'm going to open Prime95 and run a stress test and see how it affects the clock speed and the noise. Okay, so I've opened Prime95 and I'm running a stress test. And as you can see, the clock speed is now stuck on 2.7 gigahertz. And the noise seems to have stopped. I'm not hearing any coil whine. Okay, so now I'm going to go to disable the uh, Intel speed set of my BIOS. So I'm going to restart my PC. And when it restarts, you'll need to press whichever key gets you into the BIOS menu. So in my case, that's delete. So I'm going to hammer the delete key until I get into the BIOS. Now I'm in the BIOS, I'm going to go to overclocking settings and then into CPU features and if you have an older motherboard the BIOS menu will probably look a whole lot different than, than uh, the UEFI BIOS but you just need to find the CPU settings menu that has C1E and Intel C state options under it so I'm going to disable both C1E support and Intel C state and then I'm going to hit F10 to save and reset Well, now I've restarted, the first thing I've noticed is that there's no whining sound. 
usually it'll be whining like crazy as soon as I get to the log on the screen. Uh, but I'm going to open CPU Z and see what's changed. Now we're in CPU Z and you can see that the CPU clock speed and the voltage at idle are pretty much stable. It has completely removed the hideous noise coming from my computer. Although you do lose out on the small power savings of uh, Intel Speedster if you disable it. But to me it's definitely worth it just to get rid of the coil wine. Okay, so now that that's fixed, now on to GPU coil wine. This is actually a problem I was also getting alongside the motherboard coil wine, especially when playing older games. My graphics card would make very, very strange noises that would change depending on what surface I was looking at. Usually this is caused when your graphics card produces very, very high frame rates over the refresh rate of your monitor it causes a variable whining sound. If you're getting call whine when looking at certain surfaces in games, or just when playing some games and not others, there is a relatively simple fix for this. The solution to this problem is just to limit the FPS output of the graphics card to prevent the card putting out huge jumps in frame rates when changes in scenery occur. Most games have a V-Sync option which will limit the FPS output rate to the refresh rate of your monitor. While this will work, I couldn't recommend using V-Sync as it is a frequent cause of input lag in many games. The preferable option is to use an FPS limiter, so if that is available, use it over VSync. But since most games do not have an FPS limiter built in, you can limit your frame rate through software, such as MSI Afterburner.